you think you can rob a bank and get away with it? When will you criminals learn that you are no match for ultra-powerful guy? <laughs> Once again, I have saved the day and brought justice to the world! Boy, ultra-powerful guy sure has a high opinion of himself. Garfield, could I have a potato chip? No. But I guess if you are uh, perfect and admired, it's hard to be humble. Here, have a potato chip. Thanks, Garfield. Oh. Hey, well, I don't need your snacks. I'm so cute, I could get it on my own. This I gotta see. Are my eyes deceiving me, or is that the cutest kitty I ever saw? He's so adorable! Here, let's give him an entire pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. <laughs> Sorry, Garf. I don't have a slice to share. Oh, if Ultra Powerful Guy came by, I bet you'd have a slice for him. Idea happening. that long underwear of John's. <sighs> now I'm gonna need a towel and some boots. <laughs> Didn't know I was this handy, did you? Here you go, boy. A nice dish of sardines. <laughs> Beware, evildoers. You thought you could get away with your evil doing, but you failed to reckon with the awesome might of Ultra Powerful Guy. Wow. Citizen, have you seen any evildoers around here? I'm searching for the villainous Dr. Drastic. He's a master of disguise, and I have reason to believe he's currently made himself look like this. <gasps> but don't be afraid. He's only dangerous when he spreads around his disastrous Omega-3 explosive devices, which he makes to look like harmless but delicious sardines. <laughs> Great Scott, that diabolical villain. Fear not, citizen. Ultra-powerful guy is on the job. I shall dispose of these dangerous items. Up, Up and away! Hi, boy. How are those sardines? Odie, what's wrong? Odie, stop! It's me, John! John! Mmm. Oh, gosh. Wish I had a napkin. Oh, wait. I always wondered why superheroes needed capes. Now I know. <gasps> I wonder if there are any cat shows I could enter today, and of course, win. <laughs> Let's see, calculators, caterers, caterpillars. Ah, here we go, cat shows. Uh -huh. Two o'clock, I'll win it and be home by three. Hey, hey, it's stuck. Hey. I'm trapped in this phone booth! Help! I'm stuck in this phone booth! Help! This looks like a job for Ultra Powerful Guy! Here I come to save the day! Ouch! Ouch! You saved me! Who are you? <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Oh, I thought everyone knew Ultra Powerful Guy. What? I fly. I leap over tall buildings in a single bound. I eat, which reminds me, all of this superheroing stuff has made me work up an appetite. Could you show your appreciation by uh, kindly supplying me with a Sure. It's the least I could do for ultra powerful guy. <laughs>
What a cute cat. Here, take this plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Here you go, UPG. Thanks. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Oh, sorry. See you later, superhero. <laughs> Now that's how you eat spaghetti, kids. None of this twirling on a fork jazz. You know what kind of dessert goes after spaghetti? Any kind of dessert. My, what an incredibly cute cat. Say, incredibly cute cat, have you seen two men around here? They're wanted criminals. Sorry, haven't seen anyone. Oh, this is great. I'll rescue Normal again and have his cute magic reward me with a couple of pies. Here we go. Hey, hey, slow down. I have to get to him before you. Citizen, look out. I'll protect you from that runaway dumpster. Stop this thing! Yeah! I'm telling you, Joe, this is the time to rob that bank. And I'm telling you, Mo, not with ultra powerful guy around. That guy's too, he's too ultra powerful. That's the word. He can do anything. Yeah! Anything except stop a runaway trash dumpster. Apparently. No, no, help! That didn't look very ultra-powerful to me. Me neither. <laughs> I'll bet Batman doesn't get banana pills in his mask. Hey, Mo, you see that? I see, I see. Ultra-powerful guy without his mask. He's a... he's a... cat! Kind of a fat one, too. Gotta hurry. I have dessert coming. <laughs> Just think. We know ultra-powerful guy's secret identity. And we know his weakness. He is a cat. Let us go rob ourselves a bank. Let us. It's real simple. I saved your life, I get a reward. Aren't superheroes supposed to fight for truth and justice? Yeah, we do all that stuff. But sometimes we also need pie. Now get on with it. Banana cream with some chocolate sprinkles. All right. I'll put on my best banana cream pie with chocolate sprinkles cuteness. <clears throat> Meow. My goodness, I've never seen a cuter cat in all my life. Here's a chocolate cream pie with banana sprinkles. <laughs> <sighs> Close enough. Ooh. Wow, you're kind of a disappointment, ultra powerful guy. Not now. I have a pie. Oh. <laughs> Gee, ultra powerful guy wasn't that impressive. I wish I could have seen him do something really ultra powerful. Huh? Oh no, a bank robbery! What do we do? What do we do? I know. This looks like a job for Ultra Powerful Guy. Hey! But I keep telling you, I don't do bank robbers. You know what I'm good at. Give me another pie. You're a superhero. It's your duty to foil those nasty bank robbers. I, I don't suppose you guys would like to stop in the name of the law? It's Ultra Powerful Guy. <laughs> we ain't afraid of Ultra Powerful Guy. Because we know his secret and that we can defeat him with this. What is that? You don't know what it is? It's a catnip mouse. Which is every cat's weakness. Doesn't do anything for me. Maybe if you had one stuck with lasagna. It ain't working. Yeah, let's get out of here with the loot. <laughs> Great Scott, this looks like a job for... Ultra Powerful Guy. Huh? Hey, you closed the door in my cave. <laughs> oh! Ow! Ouch! <laughs> 
Once happened to Batman, trust me. Stop the car! Save a cat! End of the road for you three. Two! There are two of them. Honest, I'm just sort of a, a tag along or pull along. I don't count. What? Nice work, cat. If you hadn't delayed them, I never would have caught them. That was awesome, Ultra Powerful Guy. You were just amazing and... Hey, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Oh, come on. Tell me, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Guys, this is not fair. One of you is a real Ultra Powerful Guy. Which is it? I am. <laughs> come on. Okay. Which one of you is the real Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. <gasps> This is impossible. All right, guys. Last time. Which one of you, real UPG, hit me? I am. to interrupt your dream. Well, no, I don't. But how am I supposed to watch TV with you sleeping on a remote? <sighs> it's time for my favorite show. Are you smarter than lasagna? I'm gonna give you a two on this. I think you need to work on your poise and your coordination. And while you're at it, see what you can do about that tongue. Why the long face? I know how to cheer you up. I'll throw the stick and you fetch it. How about that, boy? Uh -uh. Odie doesn't want to fetch the stick? Uh, Odie always wants to fetch the stick. He's been acting like that all day. I'd say it's because he finally realized how dumb he was, but he's not smart enough to know that.
Hey, Wood, I found this water pistol. <gasps> Didn't he realize it's filled with strawberry lemonade? Hmm. Hmm. I need some more sugar. Hey, Odie, I've got a little treat for you. Here's a yummy bone for my little dog. He doesn't want to fetch the stick? He doesn't want a bone? Maybe I should take him to Liz for a checkup. Pupster, open those doggy eyes of yours. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. You were thrashing around in your sleep. I thought you were having a bad dream. Uh-uh. You were dreaming a good dream? Uh-huh. About food. Uh-uh. Were there any other things worth dreaming about? Oh, okay, what was it? <laughs> You were dreaming about being a great superhero and saving people in distress? Yeah. Especially cute ladies in distress? Yeah. Well, personally, I prefer dreaming about food. I think I'll uh, dream up some Mugu Gai Pan. <laughs> Buddy, is it okay if I tell you something? You promise you won't take it the wrong way? Good. Dogs don't fly, you got that? Dogs do not fly. Now stop with these daydreams. If you wanted to fly, you should have had yourself born as a bird. <gasps> ah, forget the nap. I'm gonna go down to Vito's for free pizza he doesn't know he's giving out today. Bye. <laughs> you can't come this way, cat. We're pouring asphalt and repaving here. Go around to the next block. The next block? Doesn't that man know the shortest route between me and the pizza is a straight line? I'll just walk on the other side of the street. I don't know what it is with that dog. He just does one dumb thing after another. <gasps> huh? Then again, he never got his feet stuck in freshly poured asphalt. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little problem here. <gasps> Make that a big problem. Help! Somebody help! 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 And double help! I'm gonna be flatter than John's last souffle. So, uh, what do you think, Sam? You wanna go bowling after work? Stop! Help! Stop! 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 Help! Sam, would you speak up? Some cat is howling out here or something. Huh? <laughs> Dogs don't fly, you got that? Now stop with these daydreams. Huh? 
Thanks for trying to save me, but now there are two of us about to become animal pancakes. Goodbye, whoever you are. But I'm not. Wow, did you see that? That that flying dog saved them from the steamroller. You're nuts. Dogs can't fly. That one did, just like a superhero. Huh? Did you see? I mean, I thought that the one thing and then... Oh, never mind. <sighs> yeah! Hey, Odie. I had the strangest dream. I dreamed earlier today that you were flying. You were flying and you rescued me and a cute girl dog just like a superhero. <laughs> Silly dream, huh? Mm hmm well, I guess as long as it was a dream, I can go back to sleep. Good night, Odie. You're probably wondering why I'm putting on this costume. It's because of what happened this morning. A few weeks ago, our neighborhood got a new ice cream man. Only this ice cream man was an ice cream woman. Her name was Olga, and she wasn't all that happy about her job. There were three reasons. One was that the kids on her route could be a little cruel. Here you are, a nice ice cream cone for each of you. <laughs> Don't eat too much of that or you'll wind up looking like her. Another reason was that uh, she had a little problem on her roof. <laughs> that problem, of course, was me. <laughs> Again, that cat. And it was a recurring problem. Every day when she showed up, I showed up. It was getting a little nippy in here. That was our uh, win every day. <laughs> so that was the other reason Olga was very unhappy in her job. Oh, there was one other. It said Olga was, well, kind of lonely. You know, you don't meet a lot of ideal men when you drive an ice cream huh? truck. Hey, let me have a triple dip cone. Uh, boysenberry, fish ripple, and tofu sherbet. Coming right up. Hey, Olga, you've put on a couple more pounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I got home, Odie was watching TV. We're coming to you live from Pier 16, where museum manager Esmeralda Brubaker has just returned from an exciting expedition. Is that so? Indeed it is. The museum has just acquired this. 
It's a block of ice from the continental shelf in the eastern part of Greenland. It is said to contain the frozen remains of a primitive man. A caveman frozen in a block of ice? Can you thaw him out in a microwave? Uh, this is science, miss. We hope to learn more about history by defrosting the body. We'll transport it to the museum and begin the process. Oh. I brought back some ice cream bars. Want one? Here, you can have whatever's left. Hey, the stick's the best part. You like to chase him, don't you? Okay, you're right. That was rotten even for me. If Olga's still around, I'll get you an ice cream with ice cream on it. And maybe nine more for myself. All Olga was thinking about that day was, how long before I can get off work and go home to my crummy little apartment huh? alone? in the driver's compartment that unlocks it. That's it, right there. And that was when I accidentally fell in the parking brake. Whoops! Stop, don't go anywhere. No one's driving. No, stop! Go back with my ice cream truck! Help, I don't have a driver's license. I don't even have a cat's license. Maybe this button stops me. Maybe this one. That button didn't stop it either. And I didn't realize it at the time, but that was the button to turn off the refrigerator in the back. What should I do? What should I do? Here's the manual that came with the truck. Let's see, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Ah, here it is. Stop it. Step on the brake. I'm out of danger. <sighs> oh. Oh. I think it would have been safer to drive off the pier. <gasps> it's not enough you steal my ice cream. Now you steal my ice cream truck. Myron, you think this crate really has a frozen caveman in it? Eh, yeah, who knows? All we're supposed to do is load it into the refrigerated truck when it gets here. Hey, that must be it. <laughs> you bad kitty cat! Bad! And it was about then that a weird thought came over me. I started to feel sorry for Olga. Started to feel I hadn't been too nice to her. You? Yes, me. Yes, I feel sorry for people once in a while. Now here, get in your costume. So where was I? Oh, yeah. So I'm guessing that's what these guys did. Are you sure this is the right truck, Myron? This is for ice cream. The museum must be saving money. Olga must have returned to her truck and driven off, totally unaware of two things. One was that she had a frozen caveman in the back on top of the cherry vanilla, and the other thing was that all the ice cream in the truck was melting. That's right, because I'd accidentally turned off the refrigerator. Glad you're paying attention. So all the ice cream was melting, and so was the block of ice. Meanwhile, back at the pier. How can you 
did you put my caveman into an ice cream truck? Uh, you said the refrigerator truck. <laughs> that was a refrigerator truck. I'm going to chase down that ice cream truck and get my property back. I didn't know what was going on, but it sounded like Olga might be in trouble. So I decided to hitch a ride and see if I could go help. And anyway, it beats walking. As it turned out, she did need help. There's been this guy hanging around the neighborhood lately. Kind of a shady looking guy. He flagged her down. I want some ice cream, but uh, do you have change for a 20? I'm pretty sure that I do. Oh! Give that back! That is mine! <laughs> well, that is mine now! <laughs> she screamed, but nobody heard. Well, almost nobody. You cannot just take my money. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Put me down! I'll give it back! I'm sorry! You came to my rescue. And right there in the street, the caveman looked at Olga. He hadn't seen a woman in, oh, a few thousand years. So to him, she looked pretty good. Ooh, woman. And she'd never seen a man look at her and think she was beautiful before. So to her, he looked pretty good. <laughs> Even the little kids in the neighborhood could see it. You think she's beautiful? Uh, pretty, pretty. There he is. There's my caveman. Everybody could see the two of them were in love. Everyone except the lady from the museum. That caveman is museum property. He has to come with me. But we just found each other. These two lovebirds need a chance to be together. Fortunately, they had me there. And fortunately, I know the smell of ice cream, even the melting kind. <laughs> you can't take him from me. Yeah. He's coming back to the museum to be studied and put on display. <clears throat> what is it, Cat? Better take a look in the back. You want me to look in the back of that truck? Well, what could be in there that could possibly matter to... <laughs> this is your chance, kids. Go far from her and her museum. <laughs> so they ran off. And well, nobody knows where they are, but I'll bet they're happy together. Oh. Get me out of this! Hmm. Don't worry. I'll have you out in... No, I'd say about 600 spoonfuls. And, and what will I do with the museum? I, I promised my supervisors a caveman exhibit. Well, if you leave the happy couple alone, I can help you out for a while. And so that's why we have to do this. You up for it? Okay, let's go to work. And right this way, we have our new exhibit from Stone Age Life. These figures represent a primitive cat and a saber-toothed Odie dog. Remember, Odie, we're just filling in until they find another caveman. Yeah. Okay, lunchtime. Hope it takes them a while. Mm, the food here is pretty darn good. care who it is. Even Nermal, as annoying as he is, couldn't budge me from this bed. Garfield, guess what? It's my twin cousins, Drusilla and Minerva. Hello, little kitty cat! Kitty cat! <laughs> no, little no. kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Hello, little kitty cat! No. Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Not Drusilla and Minerva! Anything but Drusilla and Minerva! Quick, Woody! We've got to get out of here! Our lives are at stake! Run! Kitty cat! <laughs> What do you mean it can't be that bad? It can be. Look! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat. Look! It's a puppy dog! Puppy dog! Ah! It's a puppy dog! 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 Oh. 
house. Why doesn't John warn us when Drusilla and Minerva are visiting this half of the country? <laughs> well, we can't go home. Let's eat. I happen to know that one of our neighbors is barbecuing this afternoon. Well, the ribs will be ready soon, hon. Could you bring me more barbecue sauce? I have to do everything myself. Oh, 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 oh. Heavenly. Oh. Whoa! Hey, I was here first. Those are my ribs. Oh, those ribs are mine. I've been planning to steal those ribs for days. I thought of stealing them first. Guys, guys, there's only one way to settle this. Let's divide them up. Good, Good idea. idea. I cannot wait to eat these delicious smelling ribs. <laughs> they look great. Oh, the one I just had was perfect. The ribs were calling to me up on that hilltop. <gasps> you don't want that. Let's get some of the ones that have meat on them. Huh? My ribs. You stole my ribs. Ribs? I haven't seen any ribs. Have you seen any ribs, Odie? Uh -uh. Ah! I'm not letting you get away with this. <laughs> Hello? Get me the animal control board. Okay, calm down, sir. Give me a description of the cat and dog. Uh-huh, sure. I know that cat. The fat orange one. He took your ribs? <laughs> Gee, he usually goes after lasagna. Okay, I'll find him and the dog. I'm not used to being falsely accused of taking food. Hey, that was easy. Usually I'm guilty. Ah. What's a big, fat, hairy idea? You're under arrest, cat. Rib stealing in the first degree. <laughs> hey, let go, mutt. Stop! Oh. Hey, it's been lovely, but, uh, bye. That won't stop him. This calls for more extreme measures. I'll have to try the old fake tail connected to the beehive trick. Oh. First, we take a fake tail. Then we connect it to a beehive. Perfect. Nice try, Cat, but I'm a little too observant for you. <laughs> We're gonna go to the one place he won't be able to chase us. Home. Not unless I can prove I didn't steal the ribs. But in order to prove it, I'd have to go out and investigate. Oh well, at least we're Aww. safe in here. There's a kitty cat and a dog. Hello, little kitty cat. Hello, little kitty cat. Hello, puppy dog. Oh, run, Odie. Run for our lives. Puppy dog. Hello, little kitty cat. I'm tired too. Puppy dog. Kitty cat. Puppy dog. Let's play dress up. I don't know how you play dress up either, but uh. I'll bet you a year's worth of lasagna will hate it. I was right. Oh, we hate it. Let's play tea party. And then we'll do their nails. 
Come on, Odie. Let's make a break for it. Excuse me, ladies. Have you seen a fat orange cat and a real stupid-looking dog around here? Yeah, you're no male model yourself. Thanks. You know, this disguise thing isn't a bad idea. You don't have to be a girl for very long, only until we find out who stole those ribs. I just hope we don't run into anyone we know. Hello, ladies. Especially him. So, I haven't seen you two before. I'm Normal, the cutest and coolest kitty cat on the planet. Oh, hello. My name is uh, Glenda, and this is my friend Odessa. <coughs> You're kind of cute, Normal. I bet you're not as cute as that orange cat who lives down the street. What's his name? You don't mean Garfield. <laughs> oh, yes, Garfield. Cutest, handsomest cat in the world. Are we talking about the same Garfield? All he does is eat all day. I'm surprised he's not down at the old railroad yard with Harry, Hercules, and Rottweiler. They're lying around eating barbecued ribs. Ribs? Huh? Stay away from those guys. They're Bad news. Uh, well, okay, see you later, Nemo. Come on, Odie. They're heading for the railroad yard. Oh, delicious. Simply delicious. Hey, I thought we were going to save some of these for later. It is later. I know how we can clear our names. We'll put our disguises to use. Yoo-hoo! Could you uh, help a couple of lost ladies? How can we be of assistance to two lovely ladies? Care for a barbecued rib? Oh, I'd like you to take those bones to someone. Hey! Uh, come this way. So pretty in this cute little dress. <laughs> That's such a good shade of lipstick for him. <laughs> and this must be Odie. Oh, he looks so adorable. <laughs> they were spying on us. <laughs> Come in here, interrupting our rib eating. Guys, you wouldn't hit a lady. Stop! We're trapped! Who where'd this come from? Ow! Looks like I caught the culprits who stole that man's barbecued ribs. Never thought I'd be happy to see the dog catcher show up. <laughs> right. Guess I was wrong about that orange cat in the mutt doing it. These guys' owners will have to bail him out and pay for the ribs. <laughs> I thought you two ladies might need help, so I brought the dog catcher. Never thought I'd be glad to see Nermal show up either. So, am I cooler than Garfield or what? If you like, you can reward me with a kiss. Whoa. Mm. Oh. Oh. Why, sure, Nermal. Close your eyes. <laughs> Come on, Odessa. This tacky railroad yard is no place for a lady. <laughs> See you later, Nermal. I didn't want to say anything, but that cat lady is almost as fat as Garfield. 